Good morning everyone. This is Dean. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Filipino Nursery Tars Home. I'm in Samal, Davao del Norte and today is August 2024. I just got finished with walking. I walked I, just uh, on the Barangay Road from end to end and it took me about 30 minutes to do the whole thing. It's a good exercise. I have not been doing any exercises for the past months because of my projects and it is not um, fair because uh, I'm supposed to be active right but I've been so dependent with my co-workers at the same time I've been just uh, doing administration of what they're doing every day so but thing is my blood pressure is going up I'm on routine medication so I have to do something aside from the diet uh, as we speak, we are doing some improvement in the property and I'm going to show you around. Thank you so much and keep on watching. Okay, when we bought this property, we never had a baco here. Never had a, um, not a grader, a grader to grade the area before we put the house up. So it is a terrain that has uh, that consists of a lot of um, sloping and really abnormal type of uh, abnormal type of terrain, you see. But we did not really want any heavy equipment here, just to keep the area intact. Okay, to be fair to the environment. So now, what we're doing here, guys, we will put. A driveway not a driveway but it is where we want to walk and sometimes put the car on front of the house uh, we're doing it one by one here Ruel as well as the boys doing this uh, slowly but surely so in here in between this area we're gonna put um, fill it up with uh, Bermuda so it's gonna be pretty guys and um, we're not done we're halfway done though the hardest part is actually the sides okay um, so the terrain of the place is abnormal it is uh, slopey and yet it's uh, beautiful okay so um, maybe next week we're gonna be finished here so well is doing some extracurricular here so this is how it looks right now so this is our project recently. This probably cost, this is a slow project compared to putting a slab, just a concrete slab, because it would take time for us to put molds and everything. So instead of one week, this becomes about three weeks ordeal, I think. Because we started this about a week ago. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna be finished maybe I would say one and a half weeks hello everyone this is Dane welcome back I'm giving you now the update of our project on the front of the house uh, this is a part of the driveway actually but uh, anyhow this is how it looks right now it's a very um, irregular irregular terrain so we're doing the best we can without distorting the uh, contour of the landscape so this is how it looks um, where Ruel is digging right now that's the last one we're gonna do on that side and we're gonna put the tiles uh, like sporadic on the other side and this one here we're gonna have one more line here for the pedestrian and after that we're gonna gather all those big um, like uh, stones the black stones here on this side so that's how it would look after it's finished all right I have mentioned it to you before this what part here this is uh, all the stones that we have gathered on that side of the pave, uh, pavement right there that's how bad it is very deep 
so uh, I don't even know how they did it. Um, but uh, that's how big they are. In fact, I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see if you can see me with this boulder right here. That's how big it is. Much bigger than what I thought. So if you're going to excavate the whole entire area here, that's how it would look. Boulders underneath this, uh, uh, the soil, the dirt. Plenty of boulders. In fact, when we had um, built the house, we have to use uh, excavator for the post. But as I've said, we retained the contour and the terrain without distorting the integrity of the dirt. So where our house is sitting right now, uh, that's the all. That, that's all what we have for, oh, for a, uh, an area where we prep before we build the house. And I think part of that is overhang, so we have to put some field dirt or um, mountain mix, uh, especially in the lower level. So we have to fill that up and reclaim the area um, where the house sits. So otherwise, we are basically sitting on big boulders underneath. So I ordered some more um, Bermuda grasses because it's not going to be enough here. We have some Bermuda already placed here. All right. But we need some more to fill up all those gaps right there. We need some more here. But it's looking much better, guys. And here, this is how it would look in between those pavers. We're going to make some more mold um, or cast some more um, of those uh, square pavers right here. And we'll make it thicker, maybe four inches uh, in diameter. Or fur, I'm sorry, correction, four inches thickness. All right, gang. Anyway, I'm going to see you again. And I will probably give you the next uh, episode when it is finished. Thank you. Say goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Hello. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Hello. Good morning, everyone. This is Dean. Welcome back to the channel. This is Mal Davo del Norte, August of 2024. All right. This is going to be the update on the finished product of our drive, uh, I'm sorry, this is a parking space for my husband to put his truck. Sometimes he uses the front or sometimes he uses the back side, but he prefers to drive himself this way. Okay, anyhow, it's probably because of easy accessibility. And if we have some uh, stuff that we need to get into the, to the house, it's easier. Now, this is finished, all right? Now, I'm gonna get started on how we made it, okay? Each one of those tiles were done manually. No, some sort of heavy equipment here. So each one is dug uh, and then precasted. The tiles we have to precast and everything. Now, uh, underneath these tiles, the dimension, by the way, of these tiles are different. But the size, I'm talking about the thickness, is about four inches. Before we lay this down, we have fine sand inside here, under this, each one of these. All right. Now, this is actually the project of my husband, but I was there to just implement and help out, implement uh, the design. So I'm very impressed of how it looks like. This is just like putting tiles in the house. We put fillers and the fillers or grout, which we use the Bermuda 
We purchase uh, eight by 12 inches uh, sizes of Bermuda from, uh, from one of the friends. And we bought it for 10 pesos a piece. It's very cheap, actually. And we had about 200 here. But these are all Bermudas that we have collected from uh, the rest of where we excavated. Now, so this is pretty much about 200 pieces here, which is not even enough. We probably need about another 200 to finish the whole thing. However, we decided to just choose um, shall we say, what's the, the name of that? It's carabao grass, which is equivalent to um, the grass we have in U.S. It's, uh, I'm sorry, I cannot remember what it is. That's what we use in U.S., um, centipede. So it's probably a family of centipede because it has some runners in it. Very easy to take off. And it requires mowing every two weeks. And this is how, how it looks. It's really beautiful right here. It only takes about maybe one or two months. And then you can see that there's already a progress. Now, the rest of these areas here, right here, right there, we're going to put some more grass, which is the centipede. In fact, we have started planting some in here right here and we're blessed with beautiful weather because we have a lot of rain this time so it's a planting season for everyone flowers as well as grass or trees now this is my project right here this is just to define the area where people can park pardon me of the mess yesterday it was very nice because we just blow the yard but this time it's really messy because of all the leaves that's coming down. All right, back to what I was saying. That grass right there, I put this uh, kind of definition where people has to walk using the tiles, not on the grass, because it took us about three years to have this um, grow like this. And we do not have very nice soil so, in fact, we still have a lot of corals here that's sticking out, which we'll eventually remove when we have time. Um, this kind of design actually I love very much because it gives uh, a definition to the garden from this area. So, and I have an issue with the sand also. Nothing is perfect, guys. Everything is kind of... Um, experimentation here whatever works best for us the sand that we put here the, the dogs love to they just love to borrow here so eventually maybe when the grass is growing grabao grass will take over that's gonna eliminate that kind of issue so that's where we are at and let us see how uh, Let us see what um, Chong is doing on the other side. 